everybody's not happy about the bill. I had a couple of business folk call me today um, complaining about it, saying what it's going to do, how it's going to be devastating to their business. Introduced in City Council tonight, Bill 17-0018 aims to raise minimum wage to $15 an hour for a majority of Baltimore's workforce by 2022. Employees at businesses with less than 50 workers would earn $15 an hour by 2026. It is a compromise and we're going to move this bill through this council. City Council President Jack Young is now supporting the very wage hike he argued against last session, at that time saying it was bad for Baltimore's economy. I've never been against it. I just felt that Baltimore shouldn't be the hole in the donut, and we're surrounded by the counties. But I was willing to say, hey, you know, they want us to be leading the state. We're going to lead them. The new bill builds upon last year's failed legislation, doubling the definition of a small employer from less than 25 to less than 50. However, small businesses would no longer be exempt from paying the higher wage, instead getting an extended schedule of annual increases. They should be able, I know they'll say they can't, they should be able to have the time to prepare and they should have the time um, to be able to get ready to take this leap with us. District 14 Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark is the bill's primary sponsor and has the support of eight other members of council along with the council president. So Mary Pat Clark says that she talked with Mayor Catherine Pugh ahead of introducing this bill in City Council tonight. She says that the mayor has shown interest in talking specifics about this legislation. A spokesman for Mayor Pugh says that the mayor will make a final determination if and when this bill passes council. We're live tonight outside City Hall. Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News.